Yes, sir, she's back. So this is the original Razer MX350 that we've had this whole time. Um, you saw what we did with it. We've changed the brakes. I have a video on that. Um, we put a, we've already had this controller in here before and this throttle. Um, we only had a two piston brake. Now we have a four piston hydraulic brake and we never put a My1020 Plus in. We've only put a uh, My1020 that comes with the mount and then we used an adapter, a hall sensor uh, adapter from Electro Co to be able to use that, that My1020 motor with the mount with this controller, okay? Because the hall the uh, connector is different. So finally, we put a My1020 Plus in there which will also be it eligible for an EC4P in the future, the way I have it. Uh, with what I learned from doing the quad, I took it to the MX350. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, this is geared really, really high, and the only reason why is because I already had this chain made from doing it before, so I'll try it with this uh, for a run, and then I'll probably be gearing it way down. Um, I don't need it crazy torquey. But let me get it a little bit more down here. You can see what I did. It's very similar to what I did with the quad. I take two of these, okay? I put them in here. I, I tightened it down. Not all the way, just a little bit. They still move a little bit. Uh, I did cut the ends over here to fit in there. Just cut them off right there. And then I also had to drill these holes uh, to fit a little bit better. Uh, with like a, I forget what I drilled them with, an eight millimeter or something like that. Um, once I got those hose drilled and in line, um, and th these just screwed slightly, I went ahead and put those in. Um, I got the, uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see or not, but um, you can see, there you go. You can see the, uh, the, the end of the screws and the nuts with some red Loctite. And then, and then once I got those in place, I tighten these front ones. Um, you might want to use a, uh, if you did this, you'd want to use a flatter uh, head screw, um, especially if your gearing is going to be a little lower. If I was, my gearing was a little lower, I'd hit this slightly, maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, with this gearing, it's fine. Um, yeah, man. I just wanted to show you all that. I don't know what battery I'm going to be throwing in here. Uh, with the test that you're about to see, um, that's just the uh, 72 volt 24 AH from Eon Lithium. And yeah, man, solid ass brake. Finally got the My1020 Plus in there. And honestly, um, I would just I only have to, to take this motor out and put an EC4P. I'd only have to unscrew these two screws for a little bit more. Uh, I can maybe come up with something that can screw in here and then maybe screw down into here like that. I could do that, but I don't know if it's gonna be needed. We'll have to do some testing with it and go from there. This isn't gonna be like a bash or anything. It's gonna be more built for speed and shit like that. For now, at least. Eventually it'll become my daughter's. I'm just messing around with it. All right, so I've already explained what this is. This is only on a storage charge. This is geared really high, so it probably wouldn't be crazy torquey. Uh, this is 1544, dude, with the uh, My1020 Plus and the Kelly uh, controller tuned. I don't know what it's tuned at, to be honest, but let's do a quick little. Thing. Awesome brakes, got the hydraulic disc brakes. A, a quick little uh, showing of it. Walk around. Go from there. 